Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, look at this, hikers, commenters, do subscribers, all oh, subscribers, and just generally anybody who still remembers this channel is here. Welcome back. He's coming! <laughs> so, I've got my first problem with the tracer. Um, when I mean a problem, the little engine management light won't go off. I'll show you in a second. So you can see it. Look at it. Look at the ugly little thing looking at me. So yeah, I turned the bike on the other day and that little bugger, that little bugger right there, did not disappear. And I had to go crawling back to that place that I have no other choice but to go crawling back to because nobody, nobody has the plug for this. Nobody. So I went back to, <laughs> I ended up going back to Charles first because Charlesworth being the only Yamaha dealer in Northern Ireland. Of course it's going to have the Yamaha tool to plug a thing like this in. So I went back, I phoned him up, and I told him the problem, and they're like, ah oh, yeah, we'll have to bring it in, plug it in, blah blah blah. So, I booked a half day, I went up and plugged it in, and it turns out, I think it was two things. The ABS sensor on the front of the back was dirty and it couldn't read, so fair play. The bike is bogging at the minute. It, I, there's just no point in washing a bike in this weather at the minute. And the other one, the big, the big, the big one, the big problem was my O2 sensor is dead or dying. That stupid little spark plug that manufacturers plug into the bike is dying or is already dead so fair enough I was going to charge first I know it was going to be pricey because you mentioned the word sensor in the motorcycle industry and there's three figures staring at you in the face so they told me what it was I was like right how much and the mechanic goes no you'll not be paying anything I was like what uh, excuse me He's like, no, you, you won't be paying anything. Your bike's 2018. I was like, well, duh, don't tell me what I already know. He says, yeah, you'll not pay anything because uh, your bike's still under warranty. And I was like, you say what? He's like, your bike's still under warranty. It's a two-year warranty. And it finishes in May 2020. So I was like, right what do I do now? Do, do do fix or do do wait or do what? So I think as far as I'm aware the process is they submit Charles have submitted the warranty they order the part I get another half day maybe and uh, I get the part fitted Obviously, when it comes in, blah blah blah. Now, I think with with that light being on, the whole the whole issue with me is the fact that I'm going to Scotland. When this goes up, I'll be going to Scotland the following week. It's the the Saturday of the following week. So it was it was it, it was niggling that that light being on now really does not suit me OCD. My, my OCD keeps looking at that like, why is that on? And I know why it's on, but I still ask myself, why is that on? So I'm going to invest in one of the OBD readers and buy the little special plug for the Yamaha and all that jazz. And hopefully I'll not have that problem ever again. But I was looking at it and the design, I'll, I'll, I'll stick a picture up. The design of the, the, the plug itself is a bit rudimentary. And when I mean it like that, I mean that it was really just stuck into the side of the bike. It, it, it's really, as you can probably see in the picture, you get the big bulb of the the bottom of the exhaust and then it's literally a spark plug shaped object in the side uh, there's no shield or there's no protection around it 
and I understand why it would it would die. But obviously, until I get that fixed, I can't get that light out. So I, I was still a bit. Mm, are you sure? I am that kind of guy that if something's wrong, but you know it's you know it's okay to ride the bike. You know, I still need reassured that it is okay because it will just do my head in. So even if the part doesn't come in this week or next week before I go away, I can still go to Scotland. Because, I'll be honest, that light was nearly stopping me from going. And I didn't want to be doing unnecessary damage to the bike. So, I can still ride it until, well, I can still ride it. It's an O2 sensor. It's basically telling the bike fuel air mixture and stuff like that there. But also what I learned about the tracer is... When it loses a sensor, it, it has like a, a default value it goes to, so it'll stay at that value until that sensor is, for talk's sake, back online. So I'm not, I'm, I'm alright with that, so that's getting sorted on warranty, hopefully in the next week or two. Um, and then I'll start getting ready, because... I like to get ready a couple of days in advance, so if anything does go wrong, I can react. But you also know it's nearly springtime when you can take your drift out of low light mode and hopefully get a video on the way home and on the way in. And just a wee update, it's actually crazy. I've been actually following the, the Norton story a, a wee bit more since the video that I put out, that, you know, finding out some more things on it. It actually turns out there were how could you even say it? They were harvesting bikes to fix bikes to get them out to the customer now. Like, it's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> and I think, oh, wait till the wind ends, donkey. Oh, the dreaded wind noise. So yeah, I mean, I'm following the, the, the Norton story. Um, actually listening to, was it uh, Chasing the Racing? And they had a guy on who had obviously he had bought a bike, I think it was like the 45 grand bike that he was saying that the paint started to blemish around the tank and stuff like that, so he sent it in for warranty and they were constantly, it was a warranty and it had its first 500 mile service and it was like, Jesus God, this place, how the hell did they... And he was saying like it took months and then you know, they wouldn't get back to him and they did get back to him and then he heard the night before they were in administration. And the administrators, it's nice to see that the administrator is helping in a way, is trying to help, but a lot of the parts aren't there. And I think he was missing, obviously the, the, the ferns were missing, the the exhaust pipes, the, the ABS module, the dashboard, the basically he was left with a, a husk of a bike and I think there was eight or nine, maybe ten, maybe that's not even the, 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 the last but there was a whole load of people suffering the same fate. There was even a bike that was just a frame I think but then as well the guy had like pension funds that he was money out of, he had hotels, he had luxury car, he, he was living the lifestyle while, well, everybody else was being put through a world of hurt, which is crazy, I know, I know, I know I slagged the guy off, and why would you spend 45 grand on a bike, and I apologise for saying that, neither to know what's actually happening to some of the customers who actually received their bikes years after they paid for them. Oh dear, it's cold. It's freezing. It is exactly four degrees. Can't see a sudden thing. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, oh dear.
people really do not know how to navigate this roundabout. So yeah, as well, I'm actually I'm actually gonna start a a podcast. I haven't started it yet, so don't worry, you're not missing anything, really. Um, the XT Donkey Podcast, I started it on the Anchor app. That's Anchor with an A, not a W. And uh, I'll post the link in the description below. If you want to subscribe to it, it's totally up to you. If you're still listening at this point, if you're not, I don't blame you. But uh, I'm going to start that out. Maybe if I don't do like videos, I'll do like uh, topics on that and put them up. But as always, like, comment, and if you haven't already subscribed, it doesn't take much. I don't spam, and uh, just take it easy and all that there stuff. But don't forget, keep it lit. And if you can't keep it lit, um, maybe check your engine and see if it's still running properly and the parts are not falling off it. And hope it's in warranty if they are. Incoming! Oh, <laughs>